In this video, we're going to complete example two. In question A, we're finding a Hamiltonian path. And in question B, we're finding a Hamiltonian cycle. Now, remembering that the only way you can do this is just to trace it until you find one. So question A says, describe a Hamiltonian path for the network diagram below that starts at D and ends at H. And I reckon I can do that by going to A first. So D to A to B to C to E to F to G to H. Perfect. So I need to describe this using the letters that represent each vertex. So we went D to A to B to C to E to F to G to H. Excellent. It is a Hamiltonian path because we pass through every vertex only once and we started and ended at a different vertex. Now looking at question B, which is a Hamiltonian cycle, this time we need to start and end at vertex B. Remembering a Hamiltonian cycle starts and ends at the same vertex. So I'm going to go from B to C to E to D to F to G to A and finally back to B. So that works out nicely. B to C to E to D to F to G to A and finally back to B. Anyway, that finishes our video on example two. Remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.